Okay, so now we are going to dive into the calculate function. Okay, now we have, I know we have touched on it a little bit in the in the course up until now, but this is where I really want to focus in on it, okay, and really describe and go describe it and go through in detail how it works. So I'm just going to set up some examples here. And I'm just going to delete a couple of things, so we'll delete that one as well. Now, why there, there is a big reason why we are going into calculate straight after a uh, a section where we've talked about context because what calculate essentially does is it allows you to change the context of a calculation within a measure okay so the context is coming from you know the environment in which a calculation is being done in right and within a me within a measure with calculate we can change that okay and this is a big deal this is a big deal within dax okay so Let's go with an example. We'll start with an example here. And we'll just start something really simple. Sales last year, okay? What if I want to compare my sales on this date to the sales of the same date but the prior year, okay? The way I do that is I use calculate because we're going to change the context of the calculation, okay? So again, within calculate, you can place an expression which you can also think of that as a measure. Um, you can You can utilize a measure to um, in this parameter field uh, so I'm going to go total sales right I'm just going to find my total sales and then I'm going to use a function called and this is this is a time intelligence function by the way um, it's like a subset of functions that are specific for, for, for time related calcs and I'm going to use a function called same period last year okay and so what it's going to do is because it's within calculate it's going to return a set of dates in the current selection from the previous year. Okay, so because we're putting this inside of calculate, we're going to recognize, well, this is the current context, but we're going to adjust it by one year. And then all we have to do is put in the dates column here. This is again why a dates table is so, so, so important. Okay, because dates within a dates table are optimized to go through um, and work with time intelligence functions. Okay, so if I bring this in, if I bring this in, you'll see now that we're getting different results, okay? And I'm just going to change the format of this so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, so you're seeing we're getting different results. And basically what it is doing it is looking at the exact same result from the year prior. So if we can locate, let's see if we can locate it. So on the 28th of the 2nd, 2020, we should see uh, 10,440 in this result here. Okay, so 28 of the 2nd, let's just go have a quick look. 28 of the 2nd, 10,440. So it's recognizing, okay, we're in the 28th of the 2nd, 2020, but for the sales last year, it's going back, it's going, changing the context back to the same date, but 2019, but, and then dragging it into this particular context. Okay. And this is why calculate is such an important um, function, because you will be doing, you do this all, you'll be doing this in so many different ways. This is just one example of, of um, one singular example of how you would then, utilize you, you know you'd utilize calculate to then enable you to calculate something else like for example we might want to calculate um what's the difference between sales this year and sales last year for example okay so that's a that's another thing to ha have a think about and the other great thing is here i want to show you this say i change the context of this particular result to instead of being by day i actually want to look at it by say quarter for example okay so we have this column inside of our dates table called quarter in calendar it's not the best name to be honest you probably want to just adjust it a little bit i'm going to place it inside of here the first thing you will notice here is that the um <clears throat> the dates aren't uh sorted correctly so just like we had to do prior and we're going to do exactly the same thing and we're going to um, sort this particular column by a column called quarter in year okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sort by column here and I'm going to do quarter in year okay and so now if I come back here you'll see that we now have them in the right order which is great 
and we're also doing exactly the same thing but you'll see that it's it's basically being accumulated up in a different um, granularity because we're looking at quarters instead of years and so if say for instance we want to compare say quarter quarter one 2020 you'll see here that the or maybe we need to go to quarter two because it's probably not a full year full quarter there so let's just let's just go with, we have a full example so you see here that quarter two 2020 we have 2.8 million in the current context but in the with the calculate function for sales last year we're looking back one year and so that one year result is back here right and so that's what calculate enables you to do and so again it brings a lot of scale to many different ways you might want to look at a similar sort of insight you don't have to rewrite the formula or anything like that okay so that's just one example and what i want to do is i also want to show you another one where it's basically quite it's quite similar to one we've, we went over before around sort of formula syntax etc but i just want to show you another way that you can adjust the context inside of um inside of calculate because if you think about this one we've totally changed the context of the calculation and so i want to show you an example where we can um, add to the context okay so um or not add but uh, sort of just adjust uh, not not totally change it just 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 uh, filter the context or just change the context uh, just just a touch okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say okay well i want to calculate um all of my uh my sales but i only want to uh, calculate them in a, in a certain location so let's go and have a look at a location that we could we could utilize so i'm going to go location and then say let's say um north Car north carolina will go nc okay and so what I can do is I can say new measure up here and I can go um, sales um, in NC for North Carolina. I can go calculate. We did something similar to this before, I know. Um, I can go total sales and then I can go filter and I can go um, location and then I can add here. Um, well, I don't even, in this particular case, this is a good example. I don't even need the filter because it's just a simple. It is just a simple filter. So I'm just going to go location. I'm going to go straight location, and then I'm going to find state code equals to NC. Okay, and then I'm going to drag that in. Okay, so now we're seeing a breakdown of just. Um, of just we're seeing total sales but we're seeing it in this particular context we're seeing it as you know just that particular region just North Carolina so here we completely changed the context but here we just adjusted it and so there's so many different nuances around how you can adjust the context utilizing calculate and that's why it will become your most used functions um, uh, by far and if you look at any of the advanced um, content put out by Enterprise DNA, especially in our in our online portal, some of our advanced analytics courses, mastering DAX courses, and some of our mini series, you'll see that calculates used pretty much in anything, anything advanced, because it, it just it and, and and for a good reason. It more it allows you, and, and you might surprise you, that to um, the formulas that you need to write can be so efficiently written. They don't need to be, you know, these huge long formulas you might have seen in Excel or you might have done yourself in Excel. They can be, you know, two, two to three lines and you can calculate up so many different um, great insights just by adjusting the context, you know, just by putting a different dimension in front of it. And then all of a sudden you get a whole range of different calcs because I'm not I'm, I'm not restricted here. If you think about it, we could, you know, based on the context in which we add we add these formulas so check out here i could just add that sales in north carolina formula to here right and so again i don't have to go and change the formula or anything but basically here i'm adding you know here here we here we adjusted the context here we're basically adding to the context because we've already got quarters but we're just saying okay well let's let's just go quarters but then also just north carolina Okay, so I guess look, it's it's similar to here, similar to here. Sorry, I don't want to don't want to confuse you too much there. But it's just a slight difference between totally changing the context if you think about it, because of the 
um, initial context that we have rather than you know there's this here was a, a time intelligence function which totally manipulated the date but here is a um, a filter which is on location versus an initial context which is dates so there's not that they're, they're not that related okay so hopefully you've got a good idea calculate there um, this is this is just you know the perfect introduction and, and and I want you to just have a deep think about you know how this could be applied in something maybe that you're picking up or you've worked on um, because because it's really gonna to to you know if you can get your mind around calculate you can really really quickly get into these formula combinations um, um, techniques and start calculating some more interesting things okay let's move on um, to the next video